Everybody gets frustrated when they find out that they don't know how to use the instrument they've been living in their whole lives. But why should they? Most people's movement vocabulary is limited to the same simple movements every single day. Lying down, standing up, sitting down, standing up, walking somewhere else so they can sit down again, and not much else. Each of us is living inside of a masterfully engineered instrument with the potential to do so much that we cannot even fathom. A veritable Stradivarius that we have never properly trained with to make the world's greatest music come to life. But in martial arts training, we feel bad when our body does not cooperate the very first time we try a new complex motor movement. We think, but this is my body. I should be able to control it the way I want. But it's an instrument you have never trained to use until now. Do you play the cello? I have a cello at home. I've lived with it for years. I see it every day on display in my living room. But I don't play it. My wife does. I just live with it. So I won't feel bad if someone asks me to play a complex cello sonata by Chopin, and I'm not able to do it. Would you feel bad if I asked you to play a beautiful piece of music on a cello? No? Why not? Because you've never learned to play it, you say. Okay. So why do we feel bad when we ask ourselves to do the same thing with this instrument? The human body. When we only know four of the notes. Like everything else, learning to move is a process. From a baby that can barely move, to eventually crawling, to standing up and falling down, oh, so many times in the process, to finally running, to the limits of human potential and beyond. It doesn't happen all at once. It doesn't happen in three easy lessons. It's a lifelong pursuit. So find joy in the journey and focus on that 1% improvement every day. Every day, do something that makes you stronger. Follow that one simple rule, and you'll go as far as you want.